Merry Christmas, everybody. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's well. And hope you're enjoying the holidays. If, you know, I'm, I don't really care if you celebrate this holiday or if you don't, to each its own. You know, everybody was raised different. We celebrate it somewhat. And not as much as I like to. I said, this want to stop by tell everybody merry christmas hope everybody's doing well it's cold today really too cold for me in a way i think right now it's around 46 degrees and that's just way too cold for me for what i like to do but what i got to thinking is i watched myself today i went to the store a while ago and just went in. I wanted to grab a few Red Bulls and a pack of sodas. And I pulled up and just stores right down the road from my house. So the truck really wasn't warmed up. And I was cold. I didn't put a jacket on. And so I was just letting the truck warm up, getting warmed up. And just a whole bunch of people running in and out the store. And I was watching everybody. Everybody's in a rush. And then I watched the lady. She ran out the store and put her stuff in the car, jumped back in, out the car, ran back in the store, forgot some things. And I had a couple of days I've been thinking and it's kind of a subject that I was thinking of and kind of reverts back to a few things with making these videos and other activities I've been doing, whether it be work, home, being a husband, being a father, all of the above. And I notice, you know, I, I live my life way too fast. I try to cram a, you know, hundred different things in a day that probably should be doing 75 or whatever the number is. I, I can't tell you the number, but I'm trying to do way too much and I don't think I'm getting anything done at 100%. Rather it be fishing, rather it be making these videos, rather it be being a father, being a husband, or like this Christmas deal. Nothing's never 100%. Living way too fast, way too fast. So just thinking about that, you know, my kind of, which I'm going to try to start it. It's hard to do it. And just the way with the world and this country, I don't know about everywhere else, but this country's makeup is, you know, you, you kind of, if you want to succeed or if you want to be whatever, you got to do a whole bunch of different things. And, and really by doing that, I'm looking at, we don't get nothing Nothing's never 100% because we're pushing ourselves too fast to the limit on everything. And everything's done at probably 75%, 80%. Sometimes you might get 100%. But being consistent and doing a perfect job, whether it be being a dad, whether it be being a husband, like I said, or at work, fishing, whatever activity you do, we all don't have much time on our hands and if you don't do that and if you don't rush everything it feels like nothing gets done or not enough gets done so been thinking and gonna try you know get out the habit of that rather whatever it may be if I gotta do an activity with my family I'm going to really just plan the activity. I got a day off and slow the activity down and just get it all done. If I'm going to go fishing, instead of just jumping in a boat because I got one day off and not very much time rushing out there and not nothing planned, just swinging everything and going for it, I'm going to really plan the trip. And if I'm not able to go and things ain't right, I won't go. Same thing with 
anything before I quit anything. Do what I can do at 100% and what I can't do, just let it go. And um, not saying that I ain't going to try. I'm going to give up. I'm going to give everything 100%. But I'm going to make sure what I do at 100%, it will be 100%. And I think that's kind of how I'm going to start my new year and just continue to see how that works out for me. And it might not. I don't know, but, and I ain't going to slow down. I'm just going to focus on whatever activity I do. And if I can't, don't have the time to focus on that activity. And I'm, you know, wrapped up in some other activity. Then I got to let the other activity go. But anyway, too salty fishing. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend.